CNN senior legal analyst Ellie Honig is here, along with former Republican congressman and a member of the January 6th Congressional Committee, Adam Kinzinger. Thank you both. Ellie, as we just have learned so much in recent weeks about truly how broad the January 6th investigation is, we now know it's gone into all seven of these battleground states. I mean, what does it signify to you as we learn more about this investigation, where it could be going as it comes to an end? So it's so interesting because if you do think back two weeks ago, there were questions about just how broadly is Jack Smith looking here? Is he looking only narrowly at the sort of submission of fake electors? And we now know the answer He's looking at everything. He's looking at all seven states. He's focusing on all the different aspects of the pressure campaign, the pressure campaign on state and local officials, pressure campaign on Mike Pence, the submission of those fake elector certificates. He's doing what prosecutors have to do. He's getting all the information. Then he's got to sit down and winnow it down and figure out, is any of this criminal? So one thing that's interesting about our reporting from Zach Cohen about Al, Sh Al Schmidt, the Republican in Pennsylvania, is that he said he was asked about how misinformation on widespread voter fraud impacted election officials. That stuck out to me because Jocelyn Vinson from Michigan said the same thing the other day that she was asked about uh, essentially the impact that these lies had on election officials. What would Jack Smith's team be trying to do with that information? We used to sometimes say that building a, building a case is like building a house. And if you think of it that way, the misinformation is the foundation. Everything that followed, all these pressure campaigns, all these schemes were all based on a lot, disinformation the false claim that Donald Trump had won this election and that there was massive fraud. And it's not surprising that we're hearing similar things from different state officials in different states, because you would want as a prosecutor to ask basically the same slate of questions. And if you find yourself getting the same type of answer over and over, then that contributes to an argument that this is coordinated, this was intentional, this was a conspiracy. Hey, Congressman